Last week I showed you the five string up here on bass that I made, but I did not play it at the end of the video like I usually do, because I'm tired of hearing myself play, I'm sure you are too. But this one I didn't have to play it myself because I made it for a local musician, so instead of me demoing the instrument, I thought I'd bring him down to the shop to pick it up and play it for you. So this is him seeing it in person for the first time and his first time playing it. And we did a little interview too while I was at it, because I used to do that on my other channel, um, but I'm just going to put it on this channel because we're all friends here. All right, I hope you enjoy. All right, you ready to see your bass? Hell yeah. yeah. There she is. Wow. It's gorgeous. You can touch it, it's all yours. Wow. The crown inlays look so cool. Whoa. Does it feel heavy or light? Honestly, it's like a good in between. Let's turn it on here. What's your name? Who are you, man? I'm Nate. My name is Nate Porter. Um, I live in Bloomfield, Connecticut. Um, and yeah, I play the bass, obviously. <laughs> but <laughs> who do you? Uh, you have like uh, at least two bands I know of. Who do you play with? Yeah, I'm in a couple of projects. Probably um, uh, the band I do the most things with is uh, Similar Kind uh, from Norwalk, Connecticut. Then I'm also in a couple others. Uh, Cheem. Uh, we're originally a CT band, but we're all spread out around different states now. And also, I play in a band called Sunset Mission. They're based out of uh, Massachusetts, but yeah, they're more like prog rock. So you're playing you're playing a lot of different genres. So a lot of different genres, yeah. Prog rock. Cheem is a little on a harder side too, right? Yeah, Cheem is yeah. definitely heavier. Yeah. Um, kind of like to say it's more like a like a new metal type things. Like and then Similar Kind was the, the band that I saw yes. you playing with, and that's very power pop. I mean, yeah, it's like, yeah, power pop's a good way to put it. It's definitely like indie. With the mu new music we're writing now, I like to call it uh, progressive pop. I haven't even touched this yet. playing bass? I've been playing bass since 2016. My entire family is very musical. Um, my dad plays guitar, my uncle plays bass, my uh, uncle plays drums. They were in a band together and I used to go see them play. Uh, elementary school I picked up violin uh, and I wanted to play the upright bass but I hate it. So I, oh yeah? Yeah, I didn't touch it. I was like, this is trash. I'm never gonna play this. Yeah, that's why that's why bought my house with, man. I really? Elevates, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I picked up the saxophone in uh, sixth grade. My sophomore year, one of my friends was like, hey, you ever heard this song? I was like, what song is it? It's uh, John the Fisherman by Primus. <laughs> and I was like, no, I'll play it. And then like right at the beginning, just this mm. with this whammy. I'm like, what is that noise? He's like, man, that's the bass. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, wow. I told my uncle who played the bass at the time, I was like, can can I use your like your like your starter bass? Because I really want to like get into it. And I gave myself the challenge of learning every Primus song. And I did it. Yeah. But there's always that one thing missing, the the whammy, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
song i've been playing that song for like two years if you didn't know there was a music scene in like well pretty much anywhere but like connecticut um like one of my best friends at the time uh really loved like listening to like pop punk and i remember i had a show and i was like hey you want to like come to the show there's like a bunch of bands playing and they were like show like what do you what do you hmm. mean like there's like people like play shows around here like mm -hmm. i've never heard of i've been listening to this type of music for years and i didn't know anything like this existed you know when i was you know coming up in the mtv age or whatever yeah you had this i would tell everybody i wanted to be a musician mm. and they would kind of say like well that's that sounds like fun you know what are you going to do for a living yeah you know and um and that you know and i i did the day job thing and the chase rock and roll at night and then i eventually got to the point where i just i was like i don't care what i'm playing wedding bar i don't care i just need to play mm -hmm. and uh, so i grabbed my double bass <laughs> mm. drive that thing all over the state and I played you know um, and I you know I made this little sort of blue collar you know living mm -hmm. uh, just playing playing music and I met all these other people that were doing it and uh, and I don't think that anybody really realizes that that's possible that there's this, it's just it's uh, it's an art right yeah. mm -hmm. there's like this art side to it and then there are like in any world of art there's you know there's Elvis you know and there's the Beatles and mm -hmm. then there's like every else you yeah. know so like what's your what's your plan like in this brave new world of music like do you want to is it still like the dream of like you know the brass ring and like the grammys and and all that or is it like just like hey i want to have a band that goes out and plays and has fun and makes a living the notion that got me where i am now it was the whole like this is just fun right like i'm good at something so why would I not do it? I just want to like enjoy playing music with other people I know and like trust musically. Like we can we can put out something that will sound good. Not because like everyone else is going to like, but we like to do it. So like it's just fun for me. Mm -hmm. But then now it's starting to get to a point where I've been doing it long enough and um people like it enough and like support my my uh my music where it's starting to become a thing where we we're starting to see oh we might be able to like live off this one day mm -hmm. so i mean grammys are cool <laughs> <laughs> um one day it's not like i'm not that's not like the top of my like bucket list i'm not like oh i won't feel accomplished if i don't get acknowledged like globally or something yeah. it's just like yeah, I'm gonna keep doing it, and if something happens, then it does. It's not gonna, like, that's not gonna run my life, but what is gonna run my life is enjoying playing music yeah. anytime, you know? That's a good attitude. Yeah. yeah. All the right hand sort of hammer ons, mm -hmm. I think that's where those extra frets are gonna be fun for you to kind of pick up the couple extra notes. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because, I mean, with the left hand, it's still freaking tight on its tight. Yeah, yeah. Right, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Um, like. I got so many more options here. Thank you. 
example of, of that lifestyle like one night I literally played the Civic Center whatever they call it the Hartford Excel Center mm -hmm. opening for Coldplay 40,000 people Saturday night and, then, and you know the whole thing the sound check and the champagne and yeah because I was a hired gun you know <laughs> and I and then the next day I was playing like that same corner bar that I play like you know every other night mm -hmm. uh, where they hate us right. you know like and them all hating us, mm -hmm. <laughs> so like like literally in one weekend, you know, you play like that giant stage to like that corner bar, and guess which one paid? The corner bar. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and that's when you kind of start realizing like, oh well, I just had this great time and I got to feel like a rock star. Yeah. But you know, when the landlord was knocking on my door Monday morning, like that did nothing for me besides stroke my ego. Exactly. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was it was. I would, I would totally do it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But, you know. Yeah. It's just kind of funny like that, you know. Just yeah. like um, a couple of weeks ago, I opened up for this really big 80s band. Flock of Seagulls. Flock of Seagulls. I saw the posts and, and like, pictures. Yeah. Phenomenal show. Like, I really enjoyed it. Like, 900 people. It's like the most I've ever played for. But, like, I knew I was going to work tomorrow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, like, my one problem with the Ibanez that I had was past the 12th fret. The frets got so skinny. Oh yeah. And like getting these chords up top started to get a little hard, but that is not it, a problem. I, bet, I wonder if it's because of the the full fan that you have on that. Yeah, I think so. Because I mean, the distance should still be the same, right? It's thirty three yeah. to thirty four. Yeah, the distance like is fine. It's right. Just, they just got tight. Yeah, they start getting like very slanted. Yeah, I think I never seen anybody else. I mean, I'm sure someone has. I've never seen this before where it's just all fanned at the headstock end and then straightens out. And yeah. we, did, we did that, you know, because of the, the tailpiece, but I really dig it. Yeah, like, no, I love it. Like, it's, it seems like a more natural way to, to sort of do that. Exactly. You know, it doesn't look as cool. Right. Right? <laughs> you know, it doesn't look all space age, but it felt really comfortable. Like, I, I was talking to my mom about it. Like, at the studio I work at, or not work, the studio I record at, um, she was like, has this like thing about making sure I'm not being like taken advantage of, mm -hmm. which like I totally get because it's happened. Yeah, yeah, it's my mom. And um, it's real easy to to get taken advantage of. Yes, yeah, especially as yeah. Yeah. Um, like oh, I can't pay you now, but this album's gonna make a million dollars. Right. Yeah. That's like, like yeah. the whole yeah. spiel she's been giving me. But I'm like, I not only see the people that work. At Factory Underground, um, that's the studio. Um, the one in Norwalk, right? Yeah. Yeah, I met the, those guys. They were yeah, the guys, yeah, yeah. They were the they're, guys they're, told me to meet you. Yeah, they're very cool people. I not only it's a great place. I see them as like people I trust to make the stuff sound good, but yeah. they're like my friends too, and like I can go to them for any question and feel safe and like have like a safe space through the music, mm. and it's great to be in a spot like that. Not everyone can experience something like that you know? yeah yeah you keep people like that in your life exactly absolutely mm -hmm. and i only met him at one time it's like oh this is a stand-up dude yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. about the base real quick um so you know before i built this this is based on a, a design that i've been working on um and then i you know met you and we were discussing making this base uh and i basically just said to you what does your dream base have mm -hmm. and then we tried to see if we could fit it into this right. so you know you were very interested in the whammy bar very um i had my buddy rob at gemini pickups custom wine that that uh, that pickup you wanted the active electronics which this isn't technically active but it's you know there's it's like yeah it does pretty much everything yeah it's, active would do right and um and then we talked about adding a few extra frets so mm -hmm. i think that is 29 i think is able to squeeze in there and so mm -hmm. you can run the pluck um 
Oh, uh, the the wood for the fingerboard and the top is um, black locust. I recommend you buy yourself one of these. This is like a black light. You see how it kind of glows? Yeah. So, so, cool. so you get one of these, some little light like this, and you put it on your mic stand or on your pedal board or something so you can walk into that zone mm. and have your bass do that. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. And just then you walk out of the yeah. zone. You know? There's a there's a venue I'm playing at on Halloween and they're the entire like front row of lights is black light. Oh so yeah. I'm yeah, excited. you're gonna you're gonna own that show. <laughs> <laughs> and um, then uh, you know, like with the with the body design, I kept the same design that you know I've been working on, but I thought it'd be cool to Sort of make it almost like two bases, especially with that black light thing. So we went, with, you know, I blacked out all the wood in the back. Mm. So it's almost like there's like a second base inside the first right. base is kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. Like the sort of second weird little smaller base. Yeah. You know, and so I'm, I'm curious, I'm excited to see how that translates on stage. Mm -hmm. You know, like if you, if it really looks like you're playing this one base, then all of a sudden, like, oh wait, there's a, there's a more behind it. <laughs> yeah. You know? like, yeah. yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> I made it a little too thin to put a cover over this. Like okay. I have this cover cut out of this wood. You can see the recess, but I mean, a lot of guys leave those off anyways. You know? Yeah, I think it looked cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, I wish that the cover worked, but just I was trying to make my instruments nice and thin and light. And mm. I just didn't have enough wood there. Like that thing has like no miles on it yet, mm. right? So I think like the finish is going to start feeling a little better. Uh, the strings haven't haven't gotten worn in yet. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the next step, right? Is uh, you know go out and play the thing and uh and tell me what you like about it and oh yeah tell me what you don't like about it and we'll uh we'll learn together you know oh yeah I'm, that's what i'm most excited for yeah <laughs> me too man me too now i gotta learn all my favorite primus songs <laughs> <laughs> with the whammy man <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching so go check out nate's band similar kind mm -hmm. team and i forgot the third one uh sunset mission sunset mission this there's links in the description and yeah. all that and if you're in connecticut more importantly go out and support the connecticut music scene actually support your music scene wherever it is go support your local music scene but if you happen to be in our music scene this is where to go hell yeah all right thanks a lot and be good mm. you want to play us out oh yeah sure. oh yeah Dream come true. <laughs>